Hey, this is John. Thanks for checking out the video. Before we get started, please like and subscribe down below. If we can get to a thousand subscribers, we can help provide free one-on-one -on -one lessons for beginners and get them into some affordable instruments. If you'd like to know more about that, please check out the Patreon links down below. Thanks, now let's get started. Uh, this is gonna be the bass lesson for Faye Webster's song, Cheers. Uh, it's part of our new series on the channel called One Great Song, and I thought it had just an irresistible bass line. Uh, essentially, it just bounces back and forth between two, uh, between two chords, uh, but the transitions are fantastic, and it's absolutely in the pocket the whole time. So let's get started. Before we get into the actual lesson, let's talk real quick about finger muting. Finger muting is a technique where you use your either your picking hand or the hand on the neck to quickly mute the note after playing it and it gives it sort of a percussive type effect and a really great groove. So let's look at that real quick. Um, if you were to play straight eighth notes on the bass guitar with just your finger held down, it would sound like this. Now if you do it with finger muting on this finger, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the note and then quickly lift off. And it's gonna give it a more of a, a percussive sound, a more pulsing sound. So this song features that uh, heavily during the verses and the choruses. So let's take a look at that lesson now. Uh, we'll start with the intro. The intro is two bars of F sharp, and you're gonna pause on the last eighth note. Uh, so you're gonna be playing eighth notes, and it's gonna sound a little something like this. So put your first finger on the E string, second fret, and we're gonna play eight notes, eighth notes, and then we're gonna pause right at the end of the second bar. So it'll sound like this. One, two, three, four. And now we're gonna get into the verse. The verse is gonna start with an octave part uh, that is still on F sharp, so your finger's gonna still say where it was on uh, F sharp, but you're gonna use your pinky to come down and grab the fourth fret of the D string. And, and you're gonna play the low F sharp with the first finger and the, the D string with your second finger. And it's going to sound something like this. And so it does, when it, the verse kicks in, it does that two times, just like I played it. And then it's going to go to A. And that's going to sound just like this with your first finger on the E string fifth fret. And then back to the F sharp. Back to the A. that is a typical verse. All right, let's talk about the first pre-chorus, and that's gonna come after the second verse. First pre-chorus is gonna start on F sharp, and then we're also gonna do a seventh and an octave. So what that's gonna look like is you're gonna have your first finger on the E string on the second fret, and then you're gonna drop it down to the seventh uh, of the chord, and that's gonna be on the D string second fret, only to launch up into the octave, which is gonna be on the fourth fret. Uh, and you're gonna play the, the D here, I'm sorry, you're gonna play the E here with the first finger and the F sharp with your third finger. And so it's gonna sound like this, and it's two bars. Do that again. And that's the first pre-chorus. Next, we're gonna get into the chorus. The chorus is gonna start on A and then drop down to F sharp uh, and then it's gonna have that sort of higher octave part again, going from the seventh to the octave of F sharp. And it's gonna sound like this. Again, starting on A, moving down to F sharp, we're gonna add that octave in there and then back to A. And that'll sound like this. One, two, three, four. That's the first chorus. Next, let's take a look at the second pre-chorus. So after the first chorus, you're gonna have another verse, and then you're gonna have a pre-chorus uh, getting back into the second uh, chorus. So that is actually gonna start on the F sharp octave and uh, do a little back and forth before launching uh, into the A chord. So we're gonna start here, and we'll do a couple of these before we get into the A. So let's do the second pre-chorus. It's gonna be seven 
uh, seven F sharps with an E on the first beat, and then it's gonna be five F sharps, and then it's gonna bounce back and forth between the E and F sharp. So let me go ahead and play that so you can hear it. One, two, three, four, And that's the second pre-chorus. Next, let's run through the second chorus, and this will be the last thing we do. Uh, it's just a little bit different than the first chorus. When it goes up to the higher uh, octave F sharp uh, points, there's just a little bit of variety uh, in the notes he's playing, but it's, it's still gonna be either the second fret or the fourth fret, but sometimes it'll jump in a little bit earlier. And then sometimes I'm gonna play the A open instead of the A on the fifth fret. Uh, so let's get started. It's gonna be two bars of A, two bars of F sharp, and then it's just gonna repeat. So we'll start on A. One, two, three, four. Uh, and that's essentially it. Those are all the major parts. Uh, after the second chorus, it goes back into the verse, which is... Um, but essentially everything repeats, and you're all set to go. That's Cheers by Faye Webster. Check out the sheet music down below. Well, thanks for checking out the first bass lesson for One Great Song uh, featuring uh, Cheers by Faye Webster. If you haven't heard her music, uh, it's absolutely phenomenal. I'll go ahead and throw links to her website and the latest video, Cheers, down below. It'll be the first links you see. And then I'm also going to throw some links to our Patreon, which uh, we're hoping to actually get everyone to like and subscribe to this channel so we can start to monetize this channel uh, and start providing free lessons, free one-on-one -on -one lessons for beginners and hopefully get them into some affordable instruments. If you'd like to learn more about that, uh, check out all, all the links below and we hope to see you next time. Bye.